Now, this game isn't for everyone. You're either going to be all like, Whoa, this game is better than Brawl! 360 no scope lol, blit, whole fam. Or you're gonna be all like, Huh, this seems a lot like Smash 64. <laughs> and yes, I am the latter. And the reason why this seems so similar to Smash 64 is because it came out only two years after it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna break this game because no one wants to see competitive contests about a video game anymore. Except for those losers who have nothing else to do in their life. AKA people who watch Evo. OH SNAP! Anyway, you thought this series was dead, huh? Well, you were wrong. Welcome to Glitch Mania, punk. Okay, sorry for calling you a punk. Okay, roll the first freaking clip already. If Mr. Game Watch catches three PK flash moves by using oil panic and uses them on Ness's shield, Mr. Game & Watch will fly all the way to who knows where. Earth 67 probably. Anyone in the way. <laughs> Okay, Dr. Mario, me and Mr. Game & Watch are gonna demonstrate how to make a missile. Okay. First, we gotta all put some PK flashes in into his bucket. And then I put my shield up and he flies. I got killed in the process of that. But that's okay, because I can come back to life. <laughs> Don't worry, the next glitch is way cooler. I'm using someone else's footage because I don't have four GameCube controllers. I only have two. Anyway, even though this game is pretty similar to Smash 64, the black hole glitch from Smash 64 uh, cannot be performed. There is, however, a weak imitation. Okay, more like a stronger imitation. To give your super scope infinite ammo, you have to shoot 15 small shots and then two charged shots. And during the charging of the third shot, the player must get hit which will result in the super scope never ever running out of ammo. If you throw the super scope, it'll disappear. So try not to throw the super scope. Have two of either Star Fox character stand on opposite platforms with the space for someone to stand underneath them. Have a character who is in the same team as one of the foxes slash falcos and get us and do the glitch that I mentioned a few seconds ago. 
have the player stand behind the Fox slash Falco bot that's on their team and commence firing. The balls should reflect off both both echo reflectors, creating a stream of glowing balls flying back and forth, and have Peach jump into the shots. The player that will see that when she jumps into it, a blue ball-like thing appears. Have Peach jump into the shot several more times. Also, stop firing, then commence firing. It'll help it go faster. After a while, there should be a steady beam of bluish green and the strange noise and some slowdown. Have Peach throw 15 turnips in. Then once there is a mass of turnips in the blue beam of death, disrupt either Fox or Falco's shine. There should have a mass of turnips floating in the air, which the player can do just about anything to. And if anyone jumps in... FATALITY! In green greens, you can stack items on top of each other. Just go into the blocks and... Spawn as many items as you want, uh, or as many as the game would allow, and bam, you can mm, do whatever you want with those items. Just go crazy. Yeah. yeah. You can spawn whatever items you want to stack, like I <laughs> yeah, went crazy with this one. I spawned a bunch of bombs, red shells, green shells, pokeballs, you name it, I've spawned it. Sad thing is, this is probably the most fun I've had with this game, which is kind of pathetic. Also, check out this AI. <laughs> It's, it's just the best. <laughs> Do I have to tell you that this is a level 9? Oh crap, he's smart now. Did you ever want a one second match? <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't? Uh, oh, oh, you, uh, okay, okay. I guess you don't want to play as Master Hand either. Yep, that's right, I saved the best for last, the name entry glitch. Have one player put their cursor on the back button, and have one player put their cursor on the button that sends you to the name entry screen. Make a filler name to make this easier. Both players must press A at the exact same frame. If the player on the back button presses A first, then you'll go on the main menu. But if the player on the button that sends you to the name entry screen and presses A first, then you will be taken to the name entry menu. But if you do it just right, you'll be taken straight to the stage select menu. Oh, but we don't have a character for player three. I wonder what will happen. Yep, 
You're playing as Master Hand. Cool, huh? Just be sure to use stamina mode because Master Hand can't die in any other mode other than stamina. Oh, and Master Hand's victory pose crashes the game. And stamina mode in Super Smash Bros. Melee doesn't have any victory poses. So there. Oh, and also, Master Hand doesn't work with every stage. Some stages are glitchy like Corneria here. Don't worry, Mario. I'll, I'll, I'll get up to that, to the great box in, in a second. Just, just let me... Uh... Just, just finish the game first. All of Master Hand's attacks are controlled by the D-pad. There's a list somewhere on the internet. I'm just too lazy to look at it. So, those are all the glitches. I have to show you. I've been wanting to do this episode, and since I missed the anniversary of this series, I think it's a good time to start this. I finally actually made a second episode to a series that I forgot about. And speaking of series that I forgot about, I'm going to do a beta stuff episode on SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. Just be sure to be in stamina mode because Master Hand can't die in melee. Normal melee. <laughs> Crap. Oh, <laughs>